It's guest time on American Bandstand, and if you were to review back and think of all the strange and unusual sounds of 1963, I guess this one would have to win an award of some sort. One of the biggest novelties of late 63, still very big in early 64, and our guests perform it for us. Ladies and gentlemen, the strange sound of the serpent bird. Let's greet the Trashman. Everybody's heard about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's the winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird is the winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is the winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird's the winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is the winner. Well, the bird, bird. The bird's the winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird's the winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is the winner. Well, the bird, bird. The bird's the winner. Well, don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody knows that the bird is the winner. Well, the bird. Come over, sit down. Make yourself at home here. I should explain that there are other members of the group who also play instruments. Are you the only singing member of the Trash Man? Well, actually, Dick, <coughs> the poor man's all out of breath. Catch your breath a second here. No, uh, well, I'll ask you again. Are, the, are you the only... And I hesitate. I put quote, unquote, because there'll be some cynics who listen to that and say, Singing? What kind of business? It's a strange sound. Did you create it? Yes, I, I have to agree with you. It is a very strange sound. <laughs> And we, uh, the four of us in the group, did write the song. When did you do this thing, and what on earth inspired you to come up with <laughs> and all of that crazy stuff? I heard that record, I fell in love with it. I said, that has got to be a hit, and it was. Well, probably I've just been watching too many Tarzan movies, but... <laughs> anyway, we, uh, uh, well, let me explain. First of all, we didn't even, de uh, we hadn't even decided on recording this particular tune. And, uh... Was this, was this, by any chance, your first recording? Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's your first... I don't know what you're going to do to follow this thing with. Do you have any ideas? Well, we've, uh, got some things that are cooking right now, and, uh... We, uh... Are going to try to come out with something, possibly, that, uh, Might just resemble this song a little bit. We don't know yet. Let me ask another question. Is the Trash Men, has that always been the name of this group? Right from the beginning. It's the strangest combination of things I've ever heard of. Where did it all start? Where did you, where did you meet? Well, actually, uh, three of us from the group had uh, been playing together for uh, six or seven years. We got a hold of our uh, bass player, who comes from the wilds of North Dakota, and formed the group and looked for the name. We just happened to come up with it one night while looking through a stack of records. This, this is going to be a funny thing if this goes on. Can you see now, ten years from now, uh, what is it? The Copacabana presents the Trash Men. There they are. I wish you all very, very best of luck. I hope you can follow that. Would you join us at the autograph table? Certainly. I'd be very happy to. Thank you very much, Steve. Nice to have you here. Steve Ward of the Trash Men. <laughs> 